going to take a quick look at the new Phantom uh, motors, the 13.5 V2 motors, um, which have replaced the, uh, the version 1s, obviously. And uh, they're supposed to be improved all around. Um, on the spec sheet for the 13.5, um, it says uh, the best just got better. And um, it's got a lot of improvements listed on this sheet. New design stators, new design sleeve and end plate, new design low resistance uh, solder tabs and uh, all the rest of the stuff like in the previous model but one thing it does say here the new V2 motors also include more powerful rotors than the V1 they also say that there's two versions uh, a torque one and an RPM one um, now here are the two motors here there's the one that says V2T for torque and V2R for revs. Now previously on the Series 1 they had a torque and rev one as well which I tested. Um, this was called the M and the RS. And when I tested them before I found the differences were tiny. Uh, they actually used the same rotor, the 19591, which is about a 1400 gauss rotor. And um, the only difference was the stack length was fractionally shorter on the RS, short stack, but it was only a tiny bit shorter by about one lamination. And the results showed that when set accurately to 6 amps draw, um, the difference on the KV was very small, less than 1%. It did 4004 on the short stack one, 3962 KV on the standard one. Um, so, have they now decided to fit different rotors in the torque and the and the RPM ones? So what I'm going to do, we we'll have a look at them and uh, see if there's any differences. So the first thing to do, uh, we we'll take them out and weigh them. This is the torque one. In the UK, they come with a BRCA approved sticker. Just check the weight of the two motors. Now, looking at the motors when they're out of the uh, out of the box, you can see on there it says V two T, that be torque and V two R, um, and also in the window it just says thirteen point five T in those two little windows there. But um, that's the only difference you can see. But uh, let's see what the weight is. So we measure the. Uh, the torque one first, 163.8, and the rev one, 157.9. So there's quite a difference in weight. I'll set them on uh, the the uh, tester here to six amps, and we'll compare them directly. And then I'll take them apart and see what rotors they've got in them. The uh, V2R adjusted for 6 amps, uh, giving you 3785 uh, kV. And let's just check the timing. Avid 49 degrees, 49, 49, 49. So that's a good uh, board. The timing on the end bell markings is just over 50 degrees by the looks of it. So. The V2 Torque 13.5 uh, has got 3711 kV at 6.0 amps. And the timing is 49 degrees with a spread of 49, 49, 48. And on the M-bell, the timing, again, is just a fraction over 50 degrees on the graduation. The results of the test so far, the Phantom Torque and the Rev, um, I tested them uh, as they came, so the timing uh, was slightly different between the two. 
the, the important test is a 6 amp one that I set them up to exactly the best I can and uh, the timing on them end bells is very good they both come out almost perfect a uh, slight difference in the revs uh, KV 3711 3785 so the the V2R is slightly revier um, but not very much so again I'm wondering if it's the same rotor and because a uh, slightly different weight that they have uh, just one taken one lamination out to get the revs um, if you look at the uh, previous uh, version ones um, the uh, M which was the talky one was 3962 and the RS was 4004 so the um, revs are actually lower now than they were before and that was with a 14 about 1400 gauss 19591 a rotor in both so I need to take them out now and see which rotors they are using taken the rotors out the two motors just going to test them now I can tell you I've already looked and they're both of them are the same they're both 19591 rotors uh, as engraved on it but um, let's just see if the torque are the same nearly 1500 gauss just over 1500 on that one and that is the, uh, the the V2T and so let's do the R again the same rotor Exactly the same, just over 1500 Gauss. So the only difference must be as before when they did this with the um, stack length. So I'll try and check the stack length. It's probably just one lamination. You can see the lamination ends just through the windows. But as I said in uh, the other video, the got some green epoxy on both ends of the lamination to um, to hold it all together so it's a bit difficult to measure the actual lamination length uh, with the epoxy there which is about uh, adds about 0.3 of a millimeter data length and just see there it's about 20.35 and the green epoxy is about 0.3 so it's about 20 millimeters that is the torque one V2T and the other one the R uh, 20.5 so there doesn't seem to be any difference 20.48 on the um, stack length so if anything the this one the R B two R the stack seems to be fractionally longer than the torque one at about twenty point five. Checking the weight, uh this is the R hundred and four grams. Torque one is hundred and ten. The resistance of the stator coil on the V2T is 0 0.026 and on the R also 0 0.026 Uh, visually checking the V2T and the V2R to see if there's any difference these M bells I can't see any difference at all uh, they both got FT540 B2.1 written on them except this one has some uh, some tiny little uh, additional code on there 1825300 something like that but they look the same the um, The stators, uh, the laminations, which you can see 
through the cutouts look exactly the same. They protrude the same amount in each window, so there doesn't seem to be like a really short stack or something. The ends look the same. The windings look the same in through the windows, but uh, one way slightly less than the other. So um, someone can tell me what the difference is. I can't. I can't see it. Phantom uh, 30.5 turn, the V2s, the V2T and the V2R, the conclusions. I've done all the tests and uh, can, I can compare them to the version 1s as well. Here's the V2T torque and the V2R. I've found that um, the weight varies slightly by about 4 grams and the stators are actually about 6 gram different. Um, but they've got exactly the same uh, rotors, which were, which both measure about the same, just over 1,500 Gauss. Now the 19591 rotor, um, as far as I know, it's the same rotor that they used in the previous uh, motor, which also had uh, a 9591 on it. Uh, but they're only about 1,400 Gauss, so they've changed something in the, in the magnetism on the rotors, so the stronger rotors. Uh, same diameter, 12.45, so both motors have the same rotor. Uh, winding resistance is 0.026. Um, they've improved the resistance slightly. It was 0.027 before, so that's good. They've wound better now. Um, the weight, well, it's just hardly any difference in weight. Uh, uh, it's about a gram on that one. Now, and on the tests on the, on the revs and the KVs, um, when set up to 6.0 amps, the KV uh, was slightly better on the Revy one than the Torquey one, but it's very small. I mean, the difference is, uh, I, I'm not sure, when I measured the stack lengths, uh, in fact the Revy one on the uh, calipers was slightly longer, but there's a lot of a, a green epoxy on the end of the... Um, on the laminations which uh, makes it a bit difficult to get the exact length of the metal part of the laminations That's, but visually they also seem to be the same length so I'm not sure where the difference in weight is which is also making a slight difference in the KV so the center boards were excellent um, as supplied it was a bit uh, it came out a bit odd but as soon as I tuned it up and uh, set the end bell nicely uh, they came spot on at 49 49 so that's really nice so which one to choose um you might as well choose the lighter one uh, save a few grams on your car uh because the performance i mean i only had to adjust the um amps up or down slightly and these kb figures will come out exactly the same uh as you can see, the previous one had higher KV. That's because the gauss on the rotor was less. So you'd expect uh, it to rev up a bit higher, and it did. So um, for indoors carpet tracks, this motor's probably going to have a little more torque than um, the previous model. So it looks like quite an improvement. Um, and I still think it would be the class leader. Um, I've I've only got the rev tech on here, and I did that. This isn't a proper uh, test. Well, it is three six three seven, so it's rev uh, uh just about the same as the twenty four K, and that had a just over over a fourteen hundred gas rotor, but um, the construction and the actual. Uh, the, the parts used in the Phantom, and especially the, now the new cooling with all the exposed coils, I would say the Phantom is going to be an even better motor um, than the 13.5 that went before, either the RS or the M.